Hey guys! Today I show you a basic blockchain implementation in Java. A blockchain consists of different blocks which are connected to each other. The first block in a blockchain is called Genesis block. It contains some data and a hash. The hash serves as an identifier for the block. The second block contains data, a hash and a previous hash. The previous hash is the same as the hash of the Genesis block, as long as nobody tampered with the data. And the purpose of this previous hash is to connect the second block to the Genesis block. The third block also has data, a hash and a previous hash. Again, the previous hash should be the same as the hash from the block before to connect the blocks together. Let's jump over to the Java code. I created two classes, a block class and a blockchain class. The block class is for creating each block and the blockchain class is for creating the connections between the blocks. Let's first look at the block class. I created three variables, one for the previous hash, which is an integer, a string for the data and an integer for the hash. In the next line, we see the constructor of the block. It is taking the data as a string and the previous hash as an integer. The data can be anything like, for example, a name. So the previous hash will be the hash of the block, which is before this block. Also, we need to calculate the hash of this block. For this, we first calculate a hash code from the data and put it in an integer array. And also, we put this previous hash in the integer array. The integer array then goes into the hash code method of the arrays class to calculate the hash. Let's jump over to the blockchain class. Inside of the blockchain class, we have a main method. And inside of this method, we will create the blockchain in the form of an array list. The first thing we have to do is to create the Genesis block. For this, we call the block constructor and give the data the string blockchain. Because the Genesis block doesn't have a block which is before it, as the second parameter we just put in a zero. To add the Genesis block to the blockchain, we call the add method on the blockchain list and put in the Genesis block as a parameter. To create a second block called hello block, we again call the block constructor with a string, this time called hello. Afterwards, we need to get the hash of the block that has been lastly added to the blockchain. This is in our case, the Genesis block. To get this last block, we call the size method on the blockchain list and then calculate minus one because the index of an array list starts with zero. Now that we can access the Genesis block with the index, we call the get hash method to gain the hash of the Genesis block. After having created the hello block, we simply add it to the blockchain by calling the add method and putting the hello block in as parameter. We want to add a third block as well, called world block. And this is now the same as before. We put in a string, then we get the hash of the hello block. And after that, we again add the world block to the blockchain. For checking if the blockchain is valid and has not been tampered with, we use the validate method. Inside of the validate method, we will cycle through the whole blockchain. And for each block, we will check if the previous hash of the current block is the same as the hash of the block before the current block. If this is not the case, the validate method will return false. Let's now check if our blockchain and the validate method is working. For this, 
we first print the hash of the hello block and afterwards we print the previous hash of the world block. Both hashes should have the same value. Afterwards we call the validate method with our blockchain to check if it is valid. Now we corrupt the blockchain. We want to remove the hello block and replace it with a high block. First we create the high block and as the previous hash we are taking the hash of the genesis block. Then we get the index of the hello block and save it in an integer called index. In the next line we remove the hello block and then we add the high block at the index of where the hello block has been before. To show you that now the hash code of the high block is different from the previous hash from the word block, I print them out here, which I show you in a minute. Afterwards we call the validate method to check if our blockchain is still valid or if it has been tampered with. Let's now run the code to see if everything is working. You can see that at the beginning the hash code of the hello block is the same as the previous hash of the word block. Also our validate method returns true. Now we replace the hello block with the high block and printed the hash codes again. You see that this number is different to this one and our validate method returns that the blockchain is not valid because it says false. This blockchain implementation is not good enough to be used in the industry. The industry uses more complex ones. Have you worked with the blockchain yet? Let me know in the comment section. You can find the code I used on my GitHub account. I will put the link in the description box. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye!